Hello everybody, Lamont Johnson here, and today we're about to react to um, Marvel's Avengers Kate Bishop. She's a new character being added to the game, and the first video we're going to watch is the War Table Deep Dive. Let's see how this is. Marvel's Avengers War Welcome to a special Marvel's Avengers War Table Deep Dive, a new format that focuses on one topic, and today that's our first new hero of season one, Kate Bishop. Since launch in September, millions of you have started on this journey with us. Yeah. Kamala surprised many of you with her disarming sincerity, going from fangirl to Avenger. The initial story of Kamala reassembling the Avengers is the foundation for all our content to come, which continues our world story with new heroes and story experiences at no additional cost. Season 1 kicks off with Kate Bishop, Operation Taking Aim, which will be available December 8th. Kate's Operation is the first new chapter in Season 1 of the Avengers Initiative. After coming back together and standing up to AIM, the first battle was won, but the war is far from over. The new leader of AIM has far-reaching plans, and that story continues with Kate Bishop in Operation Taking AIM. Okay. Better come back, all right? I'll try, but if I don't... Nope, not having that conversation. <laughs> you know we thought you were dead. Nobody heard from you. We really thought Kate Bishop was dead? Nobody's been foolish enough to actually try it. I'm not giving up on my friend. Katie? We're talking about time collapsing in on itself to eventually tear reality apart. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I have so many questions. Um, but I like the energy, so let's just... I kind of like the voice actors, though. Did you not just hear me say tearing reality apart? We're gonna go get Clint out of the wrong timeline, cut Monica off from her future self. Simple. I like it. Still messing with time. That's that. That might work. <laughs> Some of it, um, shot Avengers Endgame now. We're going to get some Hawkeye. Hey, that's a lot. This is cool. Uh, she has a sword of her own. That understand. Awesome. I agree to this. What? Hawkeye. Will Hawkeye be playable too? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. Bro, yes. Nice, nice. Operations are new story experiences that can feature new playable heroes, villains, biomes, and more. Oh, okay. We planned from the beginning to build an interconnected yeah, narrative that unfolds and evolves as we release new content. Operations feature beats of new story that work together to form an arc, like a run of comics or episodes in a season of a show. Mm. Kate's operation comes with her own story and unique rewards oh, that you can whoa, only up. get in taking aim. Pause. In Taking Aim, Kate is searching for her mentor, Hawkeye. But along the way, she discovers a conspiracy involving Commander Nick Fury, time travel, and a frightening new enemy, the Super Adaptoid. Okay, pretty good. Super Adaptoid was originally introduced in Tales of Suspense number 84. It has a cosmic origin and is programmed to defeat Captain America by copying the abilities of the Avengers. Yeah, kind of knew that. In Marvel's Avengers, it has all of the Avengers' powers and is considered an Omega-level threat in the tougher, multiplayer-only version of the Super Adaptoid boss fight. Oh, Our Kate Bishop is voiced by Ashley Birch, best known for her roles as Tiny Tina in Borderlands 2 and 3, Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, and Chloe Price in Life is Strange. We are so excited to welcome Ashley to the cast. Oh, hey! What's up? I knew I recognized you. What took you so long? Fight robots? Ah, me too. Kate learned much of what she knows from Clint, so that's reflected in her kit. 
but she has her own heroics and finishers and intrinsics. Kate Bishop is a world-class archer and an adept swordswoman. With repurposed aim tech, she uses quantum energy to power a unique set of special abilities. Her intrinsic attacks teleport to the enemy and deal increased sword damage. While her blink skills let her double jump, air dash, and traverse ledges via short-range teleportation. Okay. Kate can parry enemies with quantum shift, teleporting away from the attack and striking from behind. As a master archer, Kate has a wide variety of bow skills, each with upgrades that can be unlocked. For starters, her razor arrows can be fired in a rapid three-shot ranged combo or can be fired with perfect timing for bonus damage. You can fire multiple arrows at the same time with scattershot arrows, which is handy for crowd control or for doling out damage to enemies close up. Explosive okay. arrows are great for staggering enemies and breaking through their defenses. And don't forget, smoke screen arrows do high stun damage to anything inside the cloud of smoke. Ooh. Kate's heroics are unique to her and fit her personality to a T. Decoy is Kate's support heroic and it is one of our favorites. It spawns a hologram replica of her that shoots arrows of quantum energy at targets to distract them. Alright. I found seen. After Image lets you swap places with a decoy, and self-destruct remote detonates the decoy to trigger a large burst of quantum damage. Her Warp Arrow Assault Heroic allows her to teleport over long distances while triggering a large quantum explosion that lifts enemies into the air on her arrival. Wormhole is an upgrade option for Warp Arrow that creates portals allies can use to quickly teleport across the battlefield to join Kate. The ultimate heroic Quantum Overdrive provides unlimited intrinsic energy, empowering her bow so she can fire quantum energy arrows with explosive results. Kate oh, also has a host of quick and sword. agile sword strikes to deal with enemies that foolishly venture within striking distance. As you can see, Kate has a plentiful arsenal <laughs> at her disposal to wreck shop on aim, and then some. Every new hero comes with a ton of cosmetics, including emotes, costumes, takedowns, and nameplates. Many of oh, these wow. can be earned through gameplay, but players can also purchase certain cosmetics for their favorite heroes. Once you complete Kate's story, you can jump into a late game version of Kate's final mission to test your skills and earn even better rewards. Before we go, here's a quick look at what's coming after Kate, Hawkeye, Operation Future Imperfect. Clint's story picks up after the conclusion of Kate's operation and brings us face to face with a distant future where all hope is lost. Clint and the Operation Hawkeye Future Imperfect will be available early 2021. We'll have more details, including in-depth first looks at his gameplay in the very near future. Season 1 of the Avengers Initiative will bring big changes, and that all starts with story. That includes Next Gen. Marvel's Avengers is coming to Next Gen consoles early 2021, and all current owners will receive a free upgrade on both platforms. Until then, your current game can be played on the new consoles, including cross-gen play, and you'll notice improved performance already with the new hardware. Our journey began with Kamala's single-player story and will grow with both Kate and Clint operations. And we have more improvements and features yet to come. We're always listening to our players, including asks for future features like cross-platform play. We hear you loud and clear. As always, thank you for always telling us what you think. Make sure you visit playavengers.com for our weekly blog where you can find everything from patch notes to tips and fun content that you created. Until then, we'll see you online and in the game. Maestro! Maestro! Freaking Maestro's gonna be the... <laughs> Holy crap! That was surprising. I was getting mad um, Logan vibes from this, but...
Then Maestro comes in out of nowhere. Like, like, bro. You're gonna hit us with that? That is crazy. And he's looking amazing. Holy crap. All right. Well, that was Marvel's Avengers War Table, Deep Dive, Kate Bishop. I'll see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.